Hello. Well, this is a nice surprise, isn't it? So today, uh, I was completely unaware that this was the case, but um, Synth Space has released today, um, full release. Well, I think it's early access, but it's it's available on Steam now. You can buy it. I've just bought it myself. Um, I have no connection with Synth Space, and I the only um, thing I've really done is is watch a few YouTube videos on it. I um, as as some of you may know, if you've watched my other videos on my channel, uh, a lot of them are focused around Synth VR. Uh, and I guess to be honest, I didn't make that many videos before I started making Synth VR videos. So my channel's been very much a Synth VR channel, um, and I hope to continue doing those videos about Synth VR because I I still love that program and I think it's just growing better and better with each release uh, that itself was released on steam not long ago um simp space i i think i heard of it maybe i don't know like three months four months ago maybe i think i i because I, i've not been following it that closely I, I think there's been a discord and i think there's been a patreon um for ages uh, and i did i almost thought i'll sign up but i was i was kind of already uh supporting synth vr um and i i, I didn't want to sort of spread myself too thin um you know, work's been a bit slow as well this this year, so got to think about the funds a little bit. But I, I knew it was going to be good uh, just by looking at it. Uh, the vid the videos have been amazing. The tutorial, um, not tutorial, sorry, the uh, the, the trailer uh, for Synth Space, which I saw like the pre-release trailer a few months ago. It it's one of the best uh, trailers I've seen. I think for for a music app, um, especially in VR, maybe um, VR obviously is quite good for making trailers. Probably more so than like making a trailer for like a DAW, like a typical desktop one, just because it's a lot more visual, isn't it? There's a lot more to happen, and I thought they did a really good job. I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't know who's in the team uh, uh, since Space, but I thought they did a really good job with that trailer. Um, it, it killed the Korg one. Did you see? Did you see that Korg? I am really excited for the VR. I don't know if you've seen that the Korg are also working on a VR app, uh, but that trailer was, it was really bad and i and i don't like to be um negative about stuff but i just didn't i couldn't understand why it makes a trailer which had such a bad frame rate and didn't really demonstrate anything and then you got this small team making making things like this and synth vr and they just killed it it, it, it seems strange to me i think you presumably they would look at what else is being made you know like so but I, i'm going on and i don't want to i don't like being um being uh, being sort of nasty about stuff I, i'm really excited about that that korg thing and i'm, I'm definitely going to check it out when it comes out i'll buy it if i need to you know like it, it, it looks good and Korg gadget was quite cool on the ipad i'll be honest i didn't use use it like a lot because it's, it's, it was a little bit um sort of simplified i suppose but it was cool nonetheless uh, and i haven't actually tried it in probably four or five years Korg gadget on the ipad so maybe it's improved since i since i checked it out but it was cool i thought it was cool um and an interesting uh, development in in music software so so but let's, let's get on to simp space because i'm just i'm just completely talking about other stuff uh so I, I haven't tried this app at all i i did boot it up quickly just to make sure i was getting sound out of it and i was my microphone was recording i'm I, i'm always a bit sort of paranoid that this isn't going to work because i'm recording this uh, i share my flat with my wife and she's in the other room at the moment doing like a job application and i <laughs> last thing she needs is me pissing around shouting in the other room talking and doing noisy stuff so so i'm here in the bedroom but my pc is in the other room so i do virtual desktop and i record the microphone over that as well so it's not the best quality but hey, it is what it is but it's cool i mean it's so good that i can use this quest 2 i'm using a quest 2 uh, for those of you who don't haven't watched these before um, and I do it over virtual desktop and it seems that uh, this is working over virtual desktop so that's really good so let's get into it so try it let's grab and turn so presumably it's gonna be like this you hold the trigger and there we go we got some we got some signage yeah I mean that's nice I like I like this um, this display that's cool yeah and it, and it tells you the frequency uh, in Hertz which is which is really really useful um, Let's turn that down there. I don't. I don't like going too high of a sine wave because it's quite um, quite nasty in your ear. Cables and sockets. Let's grab a cable then. Out. It's taken out. Oh yeah. Okay. That's that's a nice. Um, I like the jack. Uh, out into a reverb. Ooh, ooh. Very nice. Yeah. Can I spawn more than one? Maybe not. No. I, I'd assume that you can't. Maybe you must have some kind of split. Uh, let's put that into a bit crush. Oh yeah, that's what I like. I love me some bit crush. Yes, nice. Okay, and then a low pass. It's just gonna kind of dull it down. No effect. Okay, I didn't actually try that one, but presumably it sounds like that. Cool. I, I do like these jacks. I like the way they they just seem to change color as well. Does it change color? Did I change the color? I don't know. But that's that's a nice jack graphic. That is nice shine. Cool. Uh, next thing. What's this? Three modules, 
no sorry modules and racks it's it's the number three cool uh yeah it's really nice shading actually that's pretty cool uh oh just made a noise i don't know what that was maybe i touched something um yeah okay uh, so do i need to connect this up yeah so highlight the entire module then grab it with the grip button yeah so we did that okay so it works in a similar way to synth vr uh let's go lfo into what am i doing here <laughs> i don't actually know what i'm doing with this uh highlight the entire this is just about moving isn't it it's not gonna make any sound until i put it into a an output or something these these graphics are nice though yeah does it stop here it stops if i just let go so that's cool so you can be floating modules it's not being very responsive on the grab actually i think i need to grab it from behind which but maybe that's good actually maybe that's intentional to stop you from accidentally moving it because uh, I'm, I'm feeling like i want to grab it like this and it's not grabbing but i think i just need to go a bit further back yeah but it just yeah i don't know i'll just i'll have to get used to it cool that's nice though it's, it's nice shadow that nice shadow mate yes nice jack okay what's this about context and menu i think i saw a video about this just the other day when i it looks like a little face then two eyes little mouth like a oh and you got a fade there oh that's very fast is it supposed to be that fast maybe you can slow it down that seems really fast but cool it's crossfade yeah context on knob reset to default what do you mean you just highlight module and context equals help okay oh sorry i miss i'm not pressing the button Gotcha. Right, okay. It's, it's, it, it, <laughs> it's good if you read all the stuff in front of you before you start to question it. So fade, yeah, and then you can press the button, takes it to default. That's a nice feature. Yeah, that's going to be really useful. Uh, context in empty space equals the menu. Okay, right, yeah. And context on the knob is reset. By, right, okay, so highlight module, get some help. Right, okay. Yes, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, very nice. And what does, does this, I just tells you what it does, does it? doesn't you can't click anymore okay sync signal a in signal b yeah 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 cross it yep 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 okay nice okay what's next come on let's see it i'm uh the only issue with this room that i'm in is i don't have much room and actually i'm gonna need to recenter the quest it's a good thing about the quest is you can do that really quickly um okay so sound tutorial let's do it Let's go. I apologize what is if this sound? Video... Oh, okay. That's what we perceive as sound is waves of changes in air pressure. The purest and simplest form of a wave is the sine wave. We can easily create one sure with an oscillator. The amplitude of the wave determines the volume. Just grab my drink. The frequency determines the pitch. Give it a try. Let's try it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's nice. Nice graphic. This is a nice tutorial already, I'm impressed with this. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's really nice, the visual's really, really nice. Turn it all the way down. You can still hear a little bit, can't you? Yeah, nice. That's really fun. Does the speakers move as well? I thought maybe the... No, I thought maybe the cones on the speakers were moving, I think I'm just imagining it. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is nice. Cool. Next. Let's look at the other basic waveforms and notice how they each have their own characteristics. Square, sawtooth, and triangle. Do you want me to try it? Okay. Oh, let's turn the volume up. The, the amplitude, sorry. Very nice. Yes, that looks like a square to me. Whoa! Well, that's good noise. Yeah. Oh, look, if you go right on the bottom, you just get this click. It's too low, man. Too low for you. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really nice sounding square wave. I mean, it's a square wave. Square waves sound like square waves, don't they? But that's a nice sounding square wave. Okay, let's take... Oh, this is really nice. Really nice morph. Look at that. Yes. Beauty, beauty. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Sounds like a tipper song. Like, oh, 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 Spoonbill, yeah. Yeah, real cool, man. Oh, nice. It's like a mm, distortion kind of... Yes. I 
Okay, cool. That's really nice. Yep. I like now, this. Now, all we're really doing on a model of synth is creating waves, then combining and modifying them in interesting ways. Let's see what you can do with two waves added together. Two waves? You crazy man! Now let's modify the result by running it through a bit crusher. Oh man, this is gonna get... are really nice. I mean, I, <laughs> it's, that's a nice knob. Especially the one with a bit of color on it. It looks really good. It looks good in VR anyway. I, I assume it looks good on the screen. Yeah, really cool. Like it. Let's try nice. something crazy. How about we add another oscillator, turn the frequency all the way down below hearing level, that makes it an LFO, a low frequency oscillator, and use that to control another value. This is doing that. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's hardcore, man. It's like horror music. <laughs> and now imagine, what if you could plug everything really cool. into everything else? You can, because it's modular. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit excited then. Yes. Okay. We've got a, definitely got a filter on that, haven't we? It sounds quite quite dull. Yes. Sounds like there's another filter on it, maybe. Or is it just because it's... Um... So what's... Sounding reverb. The noisy. Blah, blah, blah. It's weird. It? When you change the time, it kind of goes. Blah, blah, blah. Interesting. Yeah, apologies. I'm not really like talking through this because this is the first time I've used this. So I'm just, I'm just sort of playing. Um. Nice. This is smart, I like this. Can I move this? Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's quite responsive as well, which is nice. That's quite a nasty noise, isn't it? Like, uh, oops. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what now? What now? I, I guess I could plug some more cables in. Let's just do that. Can I go to this? No. No, because that's a, uh, let's see. This is a mix, mixer, presumably. Is that gonna, huh? God, I'm such a noob. I don't, I don't know how any of this works. No, this is the mixer here. Yeah, okay. Right, no, that makes sense. We're coming from left to right, aren't we? So this is just mixing these two. Is that correct? It's 
So it's making a noise regardless, which is interesting. Why is that then? So this reverb makes a noise regardless. Oh, there we go. Is it because the time was up all the way? Possibly it is, yes. Because that would make more sense. Because if I go straight into this... Yeah. Whoa! That was a bit loud. Yeah, something strange going on with this. Is it because I got the feedback all the way up? It's the mix feedback. To be fair, a sine wave isn't always the best to hear either. Let's go into the filter. Out of filters, the reverb. It's like glitching out of it, isn't it? When you when you change that time, it, it doesn't like that that much. But that's okay. We can work with that. It's, there's there's something going on that that doesn't sound quite right to me, but it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's early access, remember? So, um, what are we on? How do I move? Can I move? Can I rotate like this? I'm, so I'm, I don't stand up that often in VR because I get like a bad shoulder. I know. Woe is me. I just, it's, I think it's my floor is quite hard and I can't stand on it for that long. So I sit down in a, in a rotatey chair, which is quite a nice way to do it. Um, so I can rotate like that, but can I rotate uh, with my, oops, can I move world, trigger and grip? Oh, right. Okay. That's new. I've not, right, I see. What about like, oh, you can do it with both hands, yeah? Oh, so that's how you get around, is it? Oh, that's a little bit disorient. <laughs> it's like a little bit nausea inducing. Uh, okay, I mean, if that's how you move, that's how you move. Maybe I'll get used to it. That is a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's nice in a way. I, I quite like the, uh, it's a little bit like, I'm trying to think what else I've, there's a few games that, that use this sort of similar moving, movement system, isn't there? I, I think having an arrow, uh, it'd nice, be nice to nudge it with the stick. Maybe you can. You know, I apologise if anything I'm doing in this and sort of observing is not correct, because like I say, this is the first time I have used this, um, used this app. So, all right, let's see what else we can do. Uh, this is very exciting though, using something new. Um, what did we do? Did we, did we do? So how do I get out of this now? Oh shit, just spilled my drink. Well, I didn't spill it, fortunately, because it's got a lid on it, but, uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm stuck. What do you do? I'm stuck on level one. Um, I mean, I don't need to do all the tutorials, do I? What is sound? What is sound? What we sound? perceive as sound <laughs> is waves of changes in air pressure. Did the purest and simplest form of a yeah, wave is the sine wave. Okay. We can yeah, easily know, create one you, you with this. an oscillator. <laughs> I appreciate that. The amplitude of the wave determines the volume. Let's change this tutorial. Let's do. Uh... The frequency determines the pitch. Oh, what's motion? Is this is this going to be motion as in how you move, or motion as in the synth moving? What's this? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is like an X Y Z. X Y Z. Sorry, not American. Is it X, Y, Z? X, Y, Z, whatever. Okay, so you can change that X, which is like... Sorry, it's like that, isn't it? That's X. And then Y is going to be the up and down in space. Yeah, that's really cool. And then the Z. Oh, sorry, the Z is like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I, get, I think the, the Y maybe, or maybe the X is the nicest to use, or maybe both. Uh, so you can set the uh, range there, which presumably sets how much a movement sort of causes something to happen. What's mode? Oh, I see, you can do a mode. So you can have it hold. Yeah. Is that right? What's the modes here? We've got mode. Acceleration position, acceleration rotation. Does that mean like that? What does that mean like that? Maybe that's the way that it, uh, relative rotation, relative position. Presumably that's the way that the sort of data is interpreted. Maybe the movement data. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get back to that one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Kind of a sort of pheromone situation. 
I'm getting a good sound to do this. Yeah, yeah. Sounds a bit like um, sweet, <laughs> you know, sooty and sweet. I don't know if you remember watching that as a kid. I mean, if you're British, you definitely will. I don't know how, how big Sutty and Sweet was um, in, in other countries, but it was massive over here when I was a kid. Uh, and bearing in mind, I'm in my 30s, so if that gives you some kind of scope as to when Sutty and Sweet were relevant. Um, so I'm just going to open my window. It's getting a bit warm in here. It's a really lovely day today, actually. Uh, sun's out here in sunny, sunny London. Yeah, really nice. Went out to the park earlier on. Had a real nice uh, jog around the park. Sorry, I'm just not going off piste again. Um, and then I saw, I had, I had this on my wish list, so I got the uh, Steam notification. And uh, that's how I knew, that's how I knew I needed to come and get this thing. I would, I'd like to be able to turn with my stick, I have to say. Uh, so we'll have a look and see if we can do that. Um, that's cool, let's, let's just make something, I think. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, I'm just going to... Just gonna make until I get tired. Um, also, we've got different rooms. Let's let's have a look for this menu, shall we? So we've got modules here. Okay, so this is they're all in this kind of palette here. Oh, keyboard. This is what I like. This is what I like. Okay, how do I move this menu? By the handle. Yeah. Okay, that's a VCO. We don't. So we delete this. I want to get rid of this, so I don't want it. Maybe. Presumably there's an easy way to do that. That's probably a tutorial telling me how to do that, isn't there? Um, let's just put it there for a second. Okay. I thought maybe you would grab it at the back and maybe press A. A gives you that. B gives you nothing. Trigger gives you nothing. Okay. Mm hmm. Two hands? One hand. No? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, not quite sure how you do that. I'm sure there's a very easy way of deleting modules. Uh, it might even tell you in this tutorials bit, right? Controls. Did I do? Did I actually do the controls one? Modules and racks. Grip. Throw it on the floor to destroy it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's quite nice. That works quite well. It's quite satisfying as well. You sort of like fuck you, module. <laughs> Apologies for swearing. Um, cool. All right, let's get out of that then. So tutorial. Ba, 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 ba. So hey, if I, if I just make a new room, then is that is that going to just uh, take me to a new space? It's very blue, isn't it? I don't know what this is. Is that? Oh, it's actually a light. No way. That's that's cool. So is that facing? It looks like a reverse flashlight because it's. It looks like I should hold it like this, but actually that's shining. Uh, the light appears to come out of this end. Is that right? Or am I tripping? Interesting. That's quite an interesting feature, though, to have. Um, no, it, the light does come out of that end, doesn't it? Because if you turn it that way, look, it's dark. You nugget. So, yeah, look at that. That's really cool. What a nice feature that is. Look, it's like you're a detective taking a look in these racks. What's going on here? Yeah, really cool. Cool. Pink, um, <laughs> the pink, pink flashlight. I wonder what that reminds you of. Hmm. Yeah, nice shadows in the sky. Look at this. Look, you can move it around. Looks really cool in VR, that. I'm not quite sure why that's a shadow, though, because I'm shining the light in this direction. So quite why there's a shadow of this <laughs> on the wall. I don't know. Is it like a reflection, maybe? But that's why I was wondering, yeah, that's that's interesting. Maybe it brings the light from from behind it. Is that is that how it works? I don't know. Maybe I'm focusing on a detail that isn't that important. Cool though. Yeah, that's nice. I like that that uh, that that uh, torch. Keep pressing the wrong button. So menu is that. A is menu. All right, let's have a look next. Then modules, 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 rooms. I just want to try a different room. Let's try forest. Ooh, look at this. Well, this is very interactive, isn't it? Nice. 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 How do I get rid of the tutorial uh, menu now that I've... Um, can you kind of just erase everything? Racks. Oh, so they've got, like, samples. 
Oh, these are those cut. Right, I remember seeing this in the videos. You put these cartridges in, I think, to kind of load samples, which is cool. Uh, this 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 is making my uh, performance not so good. This environment, I think, it feels a bit less sort of less smooth. It's a nice nice river though. Yeah, I like that. I think it goes all the way up there. It's like a massive waterfall. Yeah, it's a nice nice space. Can I move around in this then? With 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 gra oh yeah, grab and trigger. Yeah, look. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go into the treetop. <laughs> you come into Sib Space, you don't make any sound. You just go to the top of the trees. Hey, look. I've been playing Valheim quite a lot recently. I, I, I don't know if many of you have been playing that, but um, it's a lot of fun. And actually, that's probably what I've been spending most of my t spare time on in the last couple of weeks. I've been there. Uh, on this Valheim server with a few people that I vaguely know, and it's really good fun. Um, and I built a treehouse in it, so I, I'm all about getting to the top of these uh, these trees. Nice. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, let's we actually look at something in 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 um, in this. Yeah, let's do that. So it looks like this is the the main um, sort of pretty world. What about a rainbow? Let's have it. This is going to be like intense. It doesn't seem very colourful. Oh, it's because I'm up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are you doing up there? Yeah, I don't know. Just sort of um, got carried away, didn't I? There's probably a quicker way of doing this as well. Oh, look at that. I like these little patterns on the floor. Yes, that's very nice. I'd like to get rid of this. Oh, build your own. It's got to be build your own, hasn't it? gonna wipe it okay so let's put a keyboard in let's try this keyboard out let's do something with this keyboard so menu let's get a VCO like this I suppose don't know what the difference between some of these is so frequency presumably we can take the pitch put that in there and then we can take the out into here is that right Wow, man! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's incredibly loud. Oh my god, there's like serious emergency vehicle action going on outside my window. Jesus, sounds like a crime film. Um, so what? That was really loud, wasn't it? Let's just keep that quite low. That's what it is doing the pitch. Okay, maybe let's do frequency. That's better. Can you kind of... A scale. Oh, nice, okay. Let's get a effect, like reverb, maybe. Reverb, there you are. Do you just grab it like that, and then get rid of you? Yeah, and yeah, the, the delete feature's nice. I think I'd like to have a button that did it as well, because um, I mean, maybe I'll get better at doing that. It's all about change. You've got you to be willing to change sometimes. You've got to try these things out, and you've got to get used to them. Um, and especially if, if you've been using... It'd be like, I suppose, if you've been using Logic all your life, and then suddenly you start using Ableton. It sim feels similar for me with SymphVR, because I've spent so much time in there coming to something else that's that's quite similar but but also very unique and different um you, you obviously expect it to work in in a, the way that you expect so uh, obviously things aren't going to be as smooth um straight away but that's that's no fault of the um the developers here that's just because there's only so many things you can be kind of used to i suppose and i will be spending lots of time in here i'm sure so is that only now I don't know what's going on with this reverb, man. Is it just me? These reverbs are interesting. There's something going on with these reverbs, and I, I don't quite know what. So we try a different module. Um, let's, let's throw you away, reverb. You're not playing how I want you to play. Let's try this delay. Okay.
but the next halfway. It's quite a lot of latency on this keyboard, it seems, but that could be an option, maybe. Yeah, maybe I should look in the options. Maybe there's a. Um, maybe not. Big waveform? Oh, oh that's the big waveform. Right, okay. That's the big waveform. Uh, reset and restart. Oh, right, as you restart the whole thing. I like this intro, it's nice. I didn't actually mean to do that though, because now I've just <laughs> lost what I was doing, but at least I didn't uh, get too far with it. Okay, uh, let's build your own again. Let's try again. We'll, 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 we'll do better this time. So, let's create a VCO again. So what, what is the difference here between this one and this one and this one? I'm a bit of a modular noob, by the way. Like I've done a lot in synth VR, but I don't I don't know modular that well. Um, I I think I understand the basics of it, but I don't know. These all look quite similar to me, but I'm I'm probably completely wrong. Let's just if I listen, see what they sound like. So that's a sign. That's a saw. That's a kind of saw, I guess. Ah, and that's a square, I suppose. It's very loud. Let's turn that down. So what? And then you've got this one. I suppose the difference between this is that you, this one's just like a bass. This one you can actually morph the waveform. So I like that. And then this one. You know what the difference is between it's just It's just different waveforms again, isn't it? Oops. So I suppose it's just giving you options, isn't it? I think I like this one the most, the one that you can morph. Because you get some really nice sounds of that. Especially down low. It's all right. Yeah, it's nice, nice visual that as well. I like that. That you can see this waveform. That's really cool. Okay, what else have we got then? <laughs> that's an LFO. That's some kind of recorder. Oh, this is the sampler. So we have a look at that. That's, oops. Oops. To stop you for a sec. Do you have to have it in this rack then? Is that how this sampler works? Is it? As in it has this rack thing with it. See that this delete thing? I don't, the problem is I'm sitting in a chair, so it's a bit, sometimes throwing stuff doesn't feel that natural. Um, maybe I should stand up, stop being a lazy booker. Sample, insert a sample cartridge or record a sample. Oh, you can record a sample. So will that work if I do? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's worked. <laughs> Sorry, that was awful. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh. Oh, this is nice. How do you, um... I see. This is a little bit like um, sampler on the iPad. <laughs> oh, and then, and then, let's do a, um, I presume there's some kind of knob, some kind of control knob. I guess you could do the motion. And we could take the X of this and make it a pitch. <laughs> yes. This is nice. I do like this. I like this a lot. This is trigger. That's just, I, I guess that's just going to trigger the sample uh, at that time that you hit it. Oh, that's a bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> so 
this is really fun. Oh, it's like a, it's like a growling beast. You wouldn't know that was me, would you? Sample, you, you, you just let such a tiny amount of it play, you end up with these crazy sounds. It's almost like a creaking uh, boat. Yeah, really nice. That's really cool. Gain. Let's keep going quite low. Let's create an effect to make it a little bit more shoddy. Uh, filter. Everything sounds better for a filter, doesn't it? Where's the out going to? So the out's going into there. Let's put it into a filter first, because that always does good. Yeah, and I guess we could put an LFO. Let's put an LFO onto here. Where is the other phone? This one will do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a cool menu system, that, to this. I'm finding it a little bit, um, maybe hard to read, just on the initial thing, but I suppose the more you use it, the more you're going to get used to these modules. I, I, I wonder if maybe, maybe they have little titles on them or something, and maybe a bit more separate, because they're all quite squashed in here. It makes it a bit difficult to look at. Uh, but it, it's not necessarily bad, it's just, it's just, a, it's just different. Um, let's take you and let's put you, where are we putting this? We're going to put it into the, um, the filter cut off, is that right? Yeah, why not? I wonder if we can put like an envelope on this. I guess you probably can. So if I stop that now, that's stopped. Yep. How long do you um, record for, I wonder? How long do you um, record for? How long do you um, record for? How long do you um, record for? How long do you um, How long do you record for? How long do you um, record for? How long do you um, record for? How long do you... How long do you um... You can record for ages if you just hold the button down like this, I guess. I guess it just keeps going and going and going and going. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe if you do that, is that going to do it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I pull the, yeah, so you put, 
All right, you can. Oh, does it make a new cartridge? Maybe if you record. I don't quite know how. The, do, do you hold this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So there five, is a limit six, to the seven, length. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are you not playing anymore? What are you doing, mate? Nope. Oh, because you put one, it on one, two, 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 one, <laughs> it sounds like some dodgy game show. <laughs> and you're out of time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's stupid. It's good though. Oh, it does actually tell you that record a sample, then play it back as one shoot. One shoot. Uh, it should be one shot, I think. A uh, loop or ping pong. Adjust in out points, crossfade and speed. A pitch input is provided as an additional way to change the speed. Tune your sample with the speed knob, then play it by keyboard through the pitch input. Okay, so let's try that then. So let's take the end of that. Uh, pitch. And then pitch, is that right? It, oh man, I wish it would snap a bit. Okay. So is this working? Oh, because you've taken the out out. You take in the air. One Pitch gives you the MIDI note, no, the MIDI pitch, and could be used to drive the bit, the bass pitch of an arpeggiator. Okay, we haven't made an arpeggiator yet, and we definitely should. Control, control, control. Is it? it wouldn't be a control, would it? It would be structure, maybe. Okay, yeah, arpeggiator. Um, let's try you then. So, it, it, pitch gives you the MIDI pitch and can be used to drive the bass pitch of an arpeggiator. The bass pitch. Uh, this here, I guess. So, if we go pitch into here, and then, and then, I guess pitch. Is that right? Pitch is going to give you the MIDI pitch. So, so it should be that, right? But then I probably need to give this a clock, don't I, as well? Um, yes, I would assume that you do. There's a clock. Okay, it seems to have these sort of dividers on it, which is nice. So let's put that in there. Is that going to work? No. No, it's not, because you're doing something wrong. What are you doing wrong? Let's take the gate, maybe, and put it in the trigger. Nope. <laughs> 
I don't know. Uh, you turn the volume down. Yes, I'm feeling very at one how to use attach pitch and gate from a keyboard okay let's just take these out this is the start again so um this special version lets you record the notes you want it to play cycle through a series of notes according to the clock rate and bass pitch this special version lets you record the notes you want to play attach pitch and gate from a keyboard so gate should this be going no this is the in yeah gate in so that's your gate this is your pitch and then your and then your gate out is going to be a uh, trigger is it no maybe i should do this with a um oh wow so see look when i <laughs> let me start this again it, that's the problem. You chuck a module and it knocks all your other modules out of the way. That's a bit reckless, isn't it? <laughs> it just... Physics and synths. That's a dangerous combo. Clear scene. Let's do that. Let's create a new one. Let's create a... Um, a rack here. Let's make a single wood rack. like it. I do like the shadows and the lighting in this. I think that they're, they're very good. And they're very good indeed. I'm just going to stop for a sec because I need, I need a drink. Um. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. So, we got a rack. I keep trying to grab this menu by the bottom, but you have to grab it by these handles. I don't particularly like this delete method, I'm going to be honest. But it's cool. It's 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 a nice idea. I just don't I just don't find it very um, user friendly for me personally. I, I'd ra I would rather um, delete a module with with a button. I think just just out of just feels better. Like it's just it's a lot of extra. I'm all about the kind of motion controls and stuff, but I don't I don't particularly like having to sort of do this to kind of get rid of stuff. Um, but it's nice that I, I think maybe it should have both. I think it should have a button. Because that, that that button doesn't do anything, does it? If you, I suppose that button, one of these buttons, the A or the B, could be um could be a delete button, couldn't it? I suppose that one shows you that, but that one doesn't do anything, does it? B. So yeah, that could be that. And look, now I've chucked that module down there. It's not even deleted. So that's so better of a bummer, man. But I'm sure they'll um they'll look at this. Um. Okay. Let's make a VCO then. Let's make a keyboard. I bet people are watching this like, what the fuck are you doing? You idiot. You absolute idiot. Come on. Come on, mate. You haven't got a mixer, have you? So where's mixers then? Is it these? These outs, presumably. This is an out, so let's take that into that. Okay, so that works. That's cool. That's the latency seems less now. Sort of. Can you play this in a different way? You can custom. Oh, okay, now, now it's latched. Is it meant to be latched? Maybe it was always latched, and I just... Yeah, that, that feels better. I guess it's mono, isn't it? 
this info page on two different modules at the same time. That would be good, because then you could easily compare them. But it's no biggie. So this one's a cycle through a series of notes according to the clock rate and bass pitch. This special version let, lets you record the notes you want it to play. Whereas this one, cycle through a series of notes according to the blah blah blah, select to scale and play mode. So, okay, so it, it said before to do the frequency from a keyboard. Is that right? No. You don't need a keyboard because it's got a scale on it. So we can just take the frequency and stick that into here. And now it's going to do that. So I, I don't want a major. A minor is definitely what I would rather have. I'd definitely take that pitch down as well. So it's actually got like a clock built in by the seams of it. What's the loop? A different mode. Oh, nice. Okay, so back and forth. Loop. There's two modes. Okay. Oh, it stopped. So what do you do with the gate? The gate's going to go into an envelope, isn't it? quite good. Look, I've got a little song going on. Finally, something vaguely musical. <laughs> this is all my fault, by the way. I'm not blaming the program for not making something musical. It's because I'm, I'm an idiot. It's, it's weird being a complete noob at something again, but it's quite nice as well. don't seem to work for me. Not how I would expect them. Like, what's going on here? And how come when I put fully mixed? Well, actually, no, that makes sense. Fully mixed is going to be the same. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. too far. <laughs> I think it must have some kind of... Yeah, you've lost it. I bet if I put that back in. Wait. You've just screwed it, haven't you? You've absolutely screwed it. Cool, that's good. What happened there? I think you just overdid it. This happens with um, the reverb unit in Synth VR sometimes as well. You, no, the, the, the echo unit in Synth VR this happens with. You can kind of overload it, I think. Oh, it's back. See what I mean? Like, uh, when you change the time, it's not, it just kind of glitches out. Yeah, I don't know, I'll have to um, ask in the Discord about that. But it's working, it's, it's, it's working, that's good. Is there any way to boost the audio, I wonder? I'm, like, I'm already at max. The issue I have with um, virtual desktop is that I often can't get my Sennheisers, um, my headphones quite as big and loud as I want. I might just change my headphones actually. Just, just bear with me, I'm going to change my headphones. So delay into the filter, sorry, uh, VCO into the filter, out of the filter into the delay. Still doesn't feel very loud, but I think I'm just deaf, that's the problem. Let's get rid of this.
That was way louder. That's pretty nice. So if I put a clock into this... Changing the time on a reverb and a delay appears to cause um, a fair amount of noise. There. And I don't really know why, because that's not normally how delays and reverbs act. And actually, sometimes changing the time on a delay is one of my favorite effects. Normally, if you change the delay on a, uh, the time on a delay like that, Normally you kind of get these kind of morphy, uh, weird noises as the as the sound almost like morphs to fit with the the new time. I don't I don't know the um, the the absolute definition of what I'm talking about, but <laughs> um, you'll know what I mean. If you played with a delay unit before, normally if you change the delay time like that, it would it would make some interesting noises. But on this, it just seems to just seems to flake out and do that. I don't, it's the same on the reverb as well. Not sure about that. Uh, okay, let's let's try something else. Let's create the. Uh, VCA, that's just like an amp. Reverb crush is the bit crush ladder filter. I haven't made one of these yet. I guess that's just a different kind of filter, isn't it? So we could go into here instead. Come out of here. Oh, and in this one you can um, control the resonance and the saturation on, on, on the control. Um, that's cool. Uh, sorry, can't remember what I'm trying to do here. Out of the filter, into the delay. Yes. I can't hear nothing, Gov. Thanks for telling me that. Questy. Clock, when you control, 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 no, not control, it was structure. Clock. Oh, there's a different kind of clocks here as well. Look, there's these. Let's try one of these. Um, no, I think that's a sp a split, maybe? Clock. Let's try one of these. Uh. Ah, it does work. Yeah, cool. So now we're controlling the speed of this. Oh, I'm not using this for. Get rid of it. This sounds a bit like the trailer now. Maybe we could add an envelope. Let's just be trying to add an envelope. Let's do that. Let's add an envelope. Again, apologies, I'm not really talking through what I'm doing. Because I'm having to use all my concentration here to work out what, you know, how things work. 
And that's the beauty of trying something completely new, I guess, that it's... Although it's... all this stuff is familiar, it's all very new, like, I don't know these modules, personally. Um, but I will. I will get to know them. So if I put the gate of this, right, uh, is this... I guess we need an amp as well, so we'll put the gate of that into this ADSR envelope. And then... Man, I guess we then take a... Like a VCA? Is that right? Like, if... It probably tells you here. Scraps. Signal. Most commonly, I use to drive the volume of a sound by plugging it in to an amplifier, VCA, but pretty much it can drive anything. Yes, okay, well, that, that makes sense. So let's put it into a VCA then. Where did, where, where did the VCA go? Did I just make, did I make one? There it is, it's down here. Okay, out. So that's what the gain then. Because it's not going to be in, because that needs to be the signal. So if I take the. Um, take these down a bit. And then I take the. The gate's already going into that. But I take the output now here. Let's do it before the filter, I guess. In there, out there. <laughs> That's pretty good. That reverb really doesn't like it when you change the time. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about this reverb, like, it doesn't sound like a reverb to me. And it, I don't know if that's just me, but it doesn't sound like a reverb. Like, where's the bot? where's the character of it? I don't know if I'm just missing something. See, there we go. Now it sounds a bit more like a reverb, so maybe... Maybe I should read the reverb. Audio effect that simulates reflection of sound in space. It doesn't explain anything, does it? I do quite like this filter. If you use the other VCO, so the one that you can morph, that would be cool. So, this one. I think this is my favourite um, sound source so far. If I take that and put that into here... Oh, it's very different. That's because I need to take that. Let's just put that over there for a sec. That's nice. Like it. That's got a nice ooh to it. You get to a certain point with that resonance, don't you? It's because of the saturation as well. Where it gets a little bit out of control. I really like this arpeggiator, I think it's really good. Like you can very quickly make something sounding quite good with, with this arpeggiator. It's... Oh nice, yeah. 
I like that. Yeah, bro. I really like some of the modules in this. I, do, I, I just think the reverb doesn't doesn't behave how I'd expect it to behave. But that's, that's the joy of early access, I suppose, isn't it? It just doesn't sound like a reverb. I'm going to have to speak to someone about this because it's just strange that a reverb... Because a reverb's normally quite a plain module. Like You'd expect it to sound like a reverb and it just doesn't sound like a reverb. And I don't... Is it just me? All right. I'm going to get rid of that reverb because I don't like it. Oh, that's a shame. It's it's gone down there and I can't reach it now. Oh, I, I have to do this. I have to grab it and get rid of it. <laughs> I will get the hang of that, I'm sure. What's this module doing? So it's got to sort this uh, headset out a little bit. Okay, let's 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 make something we haven't made yet then, just out of interest. So there is no other reverb. But that's the only reverb. What's what's that though? Oh, a ring mod. Okay, let's try this. Let's try a ring mod. And what's that? A frequency to pitch. Is that going to be... Is that just like a converter or is that like a... Converts a frequency signal into a MIDI pitch and the other way around. Okay. Sounds like it could be quite useful. Delay filter VCF. VCF's just... Um, this is a signal of a frequency lower than the selective cutoff frequency. Okay. So no, it's just just a filter, a different kind of filter again. Okay. It's it's nice to have these options. I like I like having these different um, different options here. Oh, where's my menu gone? There it is. Um. What else we got? What else we got here, huh? Let's try the ring mod and the delay together. Yeah. So get rid of that. I need to get the hang of this this module throw in. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. So uh, 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 get a little bit lost here. It's coming out of this ladder filter, going into the delay. But maybe I should do the... Um... I'm not quite sure this is going to work. I think you've got to, you've got to modulate it with something, haven't you? Yes, you do. can't hear anything at the moment because... Because... That's coming into this, this is coming into this, right? Maybe you need to just, let me just test. Okay, so it's something to do with the ring mod not passing. Maybe you have to, you have to modulate it with something. Is that right? I think you must have to modulate it with something. So we'll modulate it with a, um, I don't know, another, another one of these, maybe? Let's put that into here. Okay. In there. Maybe just put it behind the filter. Let's put it behind the filter because the filter will help to um, tame some of that grizzliness. So in that case, we'd want to go. Um, the carrier would be would be this, which is the source of the sound, and then it's being modulated by this one here. We're going to go out of this one into the ladder filter, which is then going to go into the delay. Is that right? Maybe. It really glitches out, doesn't it? That delay. <laughs>
Yo! <laughs> what, what's yo? Yo! <laughs> what's a yo signal? It's yo, yo scale. I do like that set, that, that sort of sound, that's good. Yeah, no, I mean, pff, there's some potential here. There's some big potential. I like having the arpeggiator. Uh, that's one thing that's really missing in Synth VR, I think, is a nice little arpeggiator like that. I haven't actually used the sequencer yet in this, have I? So we try that. Let's try control. And let's. Oh, there's the split. There's a sample and hold. Nice. Structure. Sequencer. Control sequencer. I guess we want this one for a pitch. Create short musical or non-musical loops of signals that can be used to play melodies or modulate parameters on other modules. So, okay. So, we take the, um, the frequency out here. We have two options. And we, um, Instead of having the arpeggiator be the pitch, we take that here and put the frequency into there, and then we take the um, the gate out, I guess, to be the um, the envelope. I believe that makes sense to me, and then obviously I stops. Okay, so it's now. Is that going to be... Obviously this ring modulation is, is kind of changing the pitch. Well, controlling the pitch really. Why don't we swap these around? I presume it's only using this, this line here. Because it's got like two channels, isn't it? So what's, what does these buttons do? Do these do something? You just turn them on and off, maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's like a deactivating the note, isn't it? So now it does nothing. If you turn all these off, it's going to do nothing. Yeah, put that one on. Doesn't seem to. When we click on it, doesn't always. Okay, you need to get the right place. So if we. Step number, put it to four. Also put a split. Let's, let's take um, control split, and then we'll take the. Uh, I want to split the envelope, so let's take this over here. It's interesting that the modules actually move each other. Look, so it's, there's actually a bit of um, kind of physics in there, like collision. Interesting choice that I think. It's like good and bad, I suppose. It's quite nice um, interactive that you can do that, like move a module like this, but also it could potentially be a bit annoying. At least it doesn't disconnect them or something when you cross the wires. Don't cross the streams! So that's your envelope that's going to go into here. Is that correct? No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. That's... This needs to come out of here, you nugget. Into here. And that's going to go into there. Yeah, and then that's going to be your cutoff as well. So that completely takes over the cutoff. Interesting. Because it'd be nice to be able to use the envelope. Maybe it's different on the other filter. Uh, normally I'd like to be able to change the cutoff independently of the envelope. Maybe you can do that with this one. Uh... Doesn't seem like it, does it? That, as soon as you put that envelope in, you lose control of the. Or maybe there's a way of like merging it or something. Let's just try the reverb again. Let's just try it. Come on, give it a chance. <laughs> I'm going to put that the final thing in the chain, so this will be my reverb. You know what you could do? You could take a um, split, control, split, and um, take this, split it so that one is going to come, one of these splits is going to go dry straight into here, like that. And then one of these splits is going to come into the reverb and then into here. And then what you can do is turn this down and then you can just hear the wet. Apologies, I put it in the wrong one. The wet reverb. So now we can really listen to this reverb and what it's doing. It's not playing with me, is it? Strange, the reverb, isn't it? I, 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 this can't be how it's supposed to operate. That sounds a bit more like a reverb. Maybe I just need to have the feedback up more. But then it really... 
really like glitches out. It doesn't explain it, does it? En envelope. Envelope. Hmm. I don't know if it's like the pre delay or something, is it? But that seems to be like a feedback as well. Oh, they seem to do similar things, these knobs. Let's bring in the dry as well. Oh, you're not using that for anymore. <laughs> Seem to grab this glide module. Oh, because you're. Oh, I grab that. I can't seem to grab this glide module. Is it because of this? Uh... <clears throat> Why is this not? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to delete these modules. Hold on a minute. Stop. Right. I'm trying to delete these modules, but they're not they're not throwing anymore. Is that because of the this maybe? I'm gonna start again, I think. I'm gonna start a new um I'm gonna clear this off. I think there's a so obviously it's it's early days and I, I haven't watched any tutorials on how this works. I haven't asked anybody how this works. So I, th I think I probably need to come in here with a bit more... Um, the tutorial seems pretty nice, but I'm still left wondering why this sequencer is, is, is here, for instance. I assume that's a bug. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, now I've got really big modules. Yeah. This, I mean, it's... I'm not sure that was supposed to happen, but I like that. Look at how big these modules are. I think I definitely need to clear this now. Look, I don't see. I don't know where I am. What's going on? Reset, restart. No, it restarts the whole thing. Let's gonna take a little drink. Stand by. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to clear the scene. What's the destruction zone? What? Destruction zone. You can turn it off. Is that so that you can... You don't need to chuck your modules anymore? Hmm. Because... So if you don't have a destruction zone, you can't... You can't delete modules, is that is that correct? You have to come down and grab them. Okay, that seems like a interesting feature. Is that just so you can walk, keep all your modules on the floor? I don't really get that. Oh, I forgot about this rack thing. I remember seeing this in a video, actually. This looks cool. It's a nice idea, this. Look, so you're really taking advantage of the 3D space. Um, I remember a couple of months ago, um, the, the developer or whoever's making the videos for this, they um, they did a really nice video of this. So let's let's try using it. So let's take. What does this module do? Keys. Now that we have the twenty-five key keyboard with outlets built in, this module really is only useful for the desk-mounted keyboard in the studio scene. 
I probably had a built-in module there too that we won't need this anymore. Okay, so we don't really need that anymore. But it's not deleting it. And the recorder, I guess. Is that for recording on cartridges? Yeah, probably. And this as well. I guess because you could kind of like resample, couldn't you? That's a nice idea, actually. So you could you could have a module, uh, any series of modules, and make a cool noise. Record a little sample of it, resample it, and then stick it in the um, into this sampler here. Maybe we could try that. Should we try it? So what's, what's the difference between these two recorders here? We've got record mono sound, yeah. Uh, save to disk, you'll get a cartridge for immediate Im imidate use. Is that a <laughs> imidate? Um, whenever you finish a recording, it will be saved on disk, and you'll get a cartridge for imidate use in zip space. You can plug it into sampler module, but that only supports mono right now, so it will ignore the second channel. Okay, so it's just a stereo and a mono recorder. I think I need to turn the destruction zone back on because otherwise you send up with all these modules on the floor. Oh, and now they're all gone. Right, okay, okay I get that. So you could sort of just dump them all down there and then when you decide that you want to get rid of them, you um, you could. What's the quality? Is that image quality or is that... Uh, I guess that... Yeah, that's image quality. You can tell straight away. The shadows are kind of different. I don't know where that torch thing's gone. I took the torch. It, I do like this torch, actually. I should probably make more use of this. It makes it a lot easier to see the modules when you shine it on there. Well, yeah, you can see the difference between it. I wouldn't say it was like night and day. There's a bit. There's more shine here on this. Um, this little. Um, oh, it's very reflective, actually. When you. I mean, I have got a torch literally on it. Yeah. To be honest, I, I think I'd probably just keep it on low. Because I, I don't think there's a massive massive difference between that. Look at this snap. <laughs> it's quite fun. You're getting distracted again. I know. I can't help myself. It's just um, it's this kind of app, isn't it? These apps are just fun just to play with, uh, I think. You could come and get lost on this for hours. I think the only, um, the only thing standing in your way... And I'm just going to clean off the lens of my headset a bit. The only thing standing in the way, I suppose, is... Um, because how long can you stay in a VR headset for? I personally have cut off for about two hours, I think. Okay. Okay. So we can save here. That's good. Load and save. Oh, looks like we've got codes. What's this do? Is this going to load a patch? Yes. It is. I should have done this before. This is probably quite good to just do this with some people that have actually made some setups that work well. Let's try this then. So, la la la. Is that playing? Where's the light? Can you make more of these lights, I wonder? Because I feel like if I had a rack over here, I'd want to put a light on that one as well. So maybe, maybe you can make more lights. Structure. Control. Effect in out. What it? What's symbol player? What's that? MIDI channel. Okay. Let's connect your hardware MIDI controller. Huh. Okay. I will give that a go later. That's a nice idea. Um, sample player. So I think I've tried a lot of the modules now. Obviously not like extensively, but I think I've tried a lot of them. Control, effect, structure. Let's just get rid of that. Um... I still don't quite know how this record works. Have it, can you, um... Can 
Can't seem to bring up that menu like on the other ones. When you grab... In fact, that's not working at all, is it? On... Hmm, interesting. Interesting. What if I make a module? What if I make a module? No, my um, buttons don't seem to be working anymore. Okay, let's just clear that again then. Let's, let's just try loading a, a different one. Wow, that was, that was noisy. <laughs> yeah, interesting that the, um, the the button doesn't seem to bring up the menu thing anymore, like the um, information. What is that then? If I clear this out. Clear scene. Clear scene. And then create a new module. Uh, so if I just make this module. That's there now, look. That's what I wanted. What's the menu again now? Is it because I had the menu open? If you had the menu open, you can't do it. No. Hmm. So what if we load up again? Load up that same... There you go, yeah. As it tells you here, record a sample, then play it back as one shoot. <laughs> Loop or ping pong, adjust in out points, a pitch input is provided. Tune your tempo with the speed knob and then play it by the keyboard through the pitch. So if I just do like a solid um, vocal sample, it doesn't explain like uh, the record uh, sample mode, one shot, loop, ping pong. How do you know which, it's th which it is? This, does it tell you if you don't have that open maybe? Maybe you just have to guess. So if I... Well... It's not going anywhere, is it? That's why it's not making a noise. Uh, where should that be going? Into this? <laughs> I think this sample is quite a lot of fun. I like I like the visual um, display. I, I like the uh, it's quite tactile. Uh, I, I need a bit more time of it to sort of understand it. I think, but it, it it's cool. It is really cool. I think so. I, I could take this cartridge out, right, and then make a new cartridge out of here. The cartridges. So presumably you can store um, you can store stuff in here. Oh, and there's like patterns. So maybe you can make almost like MIDI. These all seem to be scales, but I wonder if you can. I mean, that presumably doesn't go in there. That presumably goes into a um, into an arpeggi arpeggiator or something. Maybe that's because I saw an arpeggio earlier that had a cartridge slot. So let's just try these drums. Let's put those in. So. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that that's, that's following the same pitch pattern as, as it was before, isn't it? Which is happening with this sequence right here. <laughs> this, this definitely has a lot of potential, this, this, this app. Um, I apologise. This video so far, it's not been very coherent because I'm I'm just kind of sort of in a half-assed way, kind of just vaguely trying to work this out on a sleepy Saturday afternoon, you know. But um, I like this. I do like this, and you can tell that there's there's been a lot of time spent on this, and there's some really nice ideas. Um, there's a few things that aren't working uh, as I expect them to. Like the reverb is the main one. 
I think. But don't quote me on it. Like it might just be me. I might just be using that incorrectly. But it just it doesn't feel like it sounds like a reverb from you know for a reverb that I I would expect. But maybe that's just a personal thing. But I will be asking in the Discord about that. I think I, I, to see if someone has an answer about that. Um, let's just try. I don't really know what I want to try. To be honest, I'm 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 losing my focus a little bit. So um, don't feel like you have to watch all of this unless you really want to. <laughs> Cartridge. Oh yeah, pens, modules. Um, I do like this rack. This this square rack, even though it's. Let's just put the module where I didn't want it to go. How do I um get it out? Is that because I can't put a module here? Is that why it's... <laughs> it really doesn't want to go there, does it? Why is that then? I suppose you have to go this way around, don't you? So it likes going there, but it's not such a fan of going here, is it? Hmm. Okay. Doesn't want to snap to that at all. Cool. Here. Nope. Okay. Here. Nope. And here. So it only it only really wants to snap to there. Interesting. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Because <laughs> it kind of defeats the object of that rack. <laughs> I like the idea of this rack, but you can't. It doesn't seem to snap. It, I must be missing something. Can I have a look at this? Can I look at this? Um, it that module's actually not as tall as that, is it? Is it? Is it not what? Is that not how it's supposed to work? It, it feels like that's how it should work. Let's try a different rack. Let's try a different weird rack. I suppose that is the only weird rack. What's what's an abstract rack? An abstract rack. An abstract rack. That seems to snap, is it? It's snapping. I do feel like the snapping needs to be worked on a bit in this. It doesn't feel uh, that responsive. Like, I just want to sit it in. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I, I feel like I should better chuck it like that. Oh, I can. So why was it not? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. It's just me misusing it again, I suppose. Um, but it's definitely not snapping here, is it? Oh, it's snapped there now. Oh, maybe it is snapping here now. Hmm. Okay, well, that's good. So that that's how I wanted it to, to work. But it's not snapping there, but I suppose... Because you got it the wrong way around. It should be like that. Hmm. And you. All right. And then, um, I wanted to do a bit more with these drums, actually. I guess you could do it with the sample player thing as well. I, um, I suppose if you put this... It's a nice idea having the square, because it's quite a good safe uh, space saver. Because sometimes you have a lot of modules that you don't necessarily need to see. Like, once they're, once they're plugged in, you don't need to see them, you don't need to control them. You just need them there to, to function. So, so this is a nice way of doing that. You could put them all in this square and then just hide the ones that you don't really need. So, for instance, I could do um, let's let's do a uh, presumably if I do a control um, clock. So I, I need to get used to the terminology clock clock here. That could trigger the sample, couldn't it? And then I could take one of these cartridges, like the drums. Is there more? No, not much choice. I suppose you can load your own samples in there, can't you? So that that's there. And then that's going to come out into... Um, let's just put some... Uh, let's put a filter on it, I suppose. Let's get rid of you. See that? That didn't delete. It's, it's there. It's, it's still here. Um, that's going to go into here. And then we'll do a uh, we'll put a delay as well because the delay seems to be quite nice. Ah, come on, snap, my friend. There we go into here, and then and then um, 
What's the output? Mix out. Do you, do you need? Um, can I just use that as an output, or do I need to? Do I need to use the um, the other one? There's a different one, isn't there? A different output. Yeah, this this is the out, isn't it? Is it this you need you need this? I think I think the mix just mixes stuff. You still need to um, you could put it into the mix like this, and then out into like this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's quite a drum beat you got going on there. Why is it doing that? Oh, because you're triggering it. Delay time wigs out, doesn't it? I start to flat beat. At, 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 at. Not anymore. some um, kind of artifacts when you're messing around with that delay time some glitches nice though I do I really like this sample player it's cool and there's a lot of potential here a lot I guess what I'll have to try and do is loading in some of my own samples here assume you can do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just try a few more of these. A few more of these.
keep going to press this keyboard with my trigger, but I think you just hold on it. quite similar, doesn't it? It seems to be very similar. Load save. I don't know what these numbers mean. I don't know if these are like user-based. Oh, okay. This is quite nice with the, with the writing on it. The sequencer sends out two signals, frequency pitch and gate on off. Feed the gate into an envelope generator. Yep, makes sense. VCO generates continuous sound. VCA, we use this to make the ADSR signal change the volume, yeah, okay. Play it. Play it! Play what? Play this? Let's just try this last number then. There's a bit more going on in this one, maybe. What's this doing? scene so I think there's a um, I think there's a lot of potential here I 
I feel like that there's definitely modules that aren't working as I would expect them to. Um, I, I haven't given some of these modules enough time to actually um, really get to grips with them. But what I, what I will do now, I think, is over the next couple of weeks or something, um, I'll have a, a few sessions with this and, and get get to grips with it a bit more. Maybe ask a few questions in the Discord, check if I'm doing anything wrong. Um, but I, I, I am pretty excited about this as an app. I think I think there's a lot of potential here, and I'm glad to see that it's finally out, uh, released for the public. There's, there's definitely, this is a labor of love, as, as a lot of these VR um, music-making apps are. Um, I'd say, I'd say I'd, you know, Synth VR has been my favorite so far. There's, there's this now, uh, which is Synth Space. There's Transient's also quite worth checking out, and then um, Virtuoso is another one that I really like. Um, there's a couple of other ones that I can't remember the name of now, which I, I, um, I've been meaning to check out, but there's only so much time in the day, you know, and I, I've actually, uh, work's got busier again recently, which is great. Um, pandemic kind of calmed everything down. I say can't just killed everything, um, work-wise for me, mostly. Uh, but things are starting to trickle back now and the lockdown seems to be lifting. So, so it, it's good, but it means I'm going to have less spare time to just faff around with VR apps, uh, but I will, I will continue to faff around with this one, definitely. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I, it's definitely not perfect. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it's, it's really good for what is here. And I, I respect, I massively respect any developer that steps into this space. You know, like a, a virtual reality development in general, it's a pretty tricky um, thing to get into. I mean, anyone can sort of sit at home. I've given it a go, you know, open up Unity, follow some tutorials and make some basic VR thing. But to actually make a proper app in VR, uh, and, and normally it's either a developer on their own, in the case of Synth VR. I'm not sure with Synth Space how big the team is. Um, I, I get the feeling it's another, it's quite a small, either one guy or, or a small team. Um, so I, yeah, I have a massive respect for people that are trying this stuff out and they're, they're pushing the envelope, literally pushing the envelope, uh, making this stuff because, you know, other than Korg so far, Korg, Korg are stepping in, but we haven't actually seen it, have we? We've just seen a, a trailer, which was pretty underwhelming. The, the graphics looked okay, but it was, yeah, man, I, I did not understand that footage capture. I know I talked about it before, but it, it's just weird. I, I thought the trailer for SimSpace was way more exciting than the one by Korg and Korg are like... Korg have been around for years. Like they are, when you think of synths, you Korg are one of the main ones that pops up. So I'm sure it'll turn out very good, uh, uh, the Korg one. But let's just see. I mean, it's amazing that, that developers are making this stuff. Uh, and I'm so happy to be at the kind of beginning of it, I suppose, to, to have this opportunity to be one of the, you know, one of the first few that are getting to explore this stuff. I mean, this is, this, I'm not, this is not exclusive anymore. You can buy this on Steam. That's what I did. I bought it on Steam. But what I mean is just virtual reality and, and music making and, and other creative apps as well. I tend to focus on the music making ones because that's what interests me the most. But things like Tilt Brush is pretty cool. I'm not particularly artistic when it comes to visual stuff. Uh, like I, I play around, but I'm not. it's not something that I've ever had any training in and not something that I do uh, professionally or anything. So, so um, in terms of like drawing and things like that, I'm not very good at that at all. Um, I do like the shadows on this. They're cool, aren't they? <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm just rabbiting now. So I think I will just leave it there. And um, I guess I'll upload this and you can watch it if you want. It's, yeah, it's not going to be that structured as you've already seen. I mean, maybe you just skipped to this point in the video and you didn't listen to the rest of it, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Um, you can like this video and you can subscribe and I'll do some more. Um, I, I will definitely be spending some time in here and definitely... Uh, making some some more videos using this for sure um so good effort good effort on the release and um to the team behind this uh, or the guy behind this and um i really should check that out who, who made this um <laughs> but i'm gonna do that now so cool i'll um i'll see you later um have fun make some noise